Hi everyone, welcome to Woolen Spinning. This is the monthly teaching episode that I publish as part of the Patreon supporters tiers. I would like to welcome you. My name is Rachel and I can be found pretty much everywhere as well for pearls. Today is August, well the teaching video this month is August 2016 and I am actually starting a series to this month of just working through each of the drafts that you will encounter generally when you're learning how to spin. I know for some of you this will be um, review and I think that's okay because it starts a conversation around what our favorite drafts are, what we like about them, what we don't like about them, what their limitations are, what their advantages are and working through some video of just what they look like very basically is a really important place for beginning spinners in particular but also intermediate, intermediate and advanced spinners to take a moment and say I wonder where I could improve on that draft. So I'm spinning today on my Lendrum double treadle. It's my favorite go-to wheel for teaching currently and I have it all set up and ready to go. I am spinning on my fast flyer and that's just because otherwise I get too much twist because when I'm talking I tend to treadle quite slowly and I'm a slow treadler anyways. I'm working with some combed top today. This is just deep stash uh, stuff from eons ago. So we are going to start with worsted spun yarns and for those who don't know what a worsted yarn is just yet and you're st still learning and you're at the beginning of your um, journey as a spinner, um, there will be more content on that um, in the coming months. But think about your worsted yarns as your smooth, slightly denser um, yarns that use certain drafts that smooth the fibers and keep the fibers aligned and parallel. You will notice that these fibers are parallel, they're aligned, there's no randomness to them. They're actually quite, this is quite a lovely um, comb top actually. I stripped this down once, I just pulled it apart vertically like that to just have a slightly less amount of fiber that I was working with and I just did it again there. So this is what I will be demoing with you today. So this month we are going to start with my favorite draft, which is um, the short forward draft. Some people call this the inchworm or um, I've heard it called other things. A lot of people don't like it, so I'm just going to get started. So my leader is currently connected to my uh, fiber supply. It's just kind of getting started here. I tend to need a little bit more uptake on this wheel. So my brake band, I have to tighten it slightly to get started generally, which I will do. And notice how my fiber supply hand, which is this hand back here, stays completely still. And I pull forward and smooth back. Pinch and pull forward, smooth back. And then I move my fiber supply hand back slightly. I pinch and pull forward, smooth back. And that's it. This is the short forward draft. I'm pinching and pulling forward, smoothing back. Notice how my fiber supply hand doesn't move. Pinch, pull forward, smooth back. Pinch, pull forward, smooth back. Now the key with this draft is to keep your distance of draft, so how far this hand moves forward. If I go forward too much, I'm going to get a thick and thin yarn. If I don't move forward enough, I'm going to get a heavier yarn. It's just going to get thicker and thicker and thicker. So knowing your staple length and how far you should be drafting forward. So this is a merino, so I want to be drafting forward about an inch. And I do that consistently over and over <laughs> and over again. And I just keep drafting. I'm going to move my guide. I've got a big pile of yarn here of singles, so I'm going to move my guide slightly. And I'm going to start piling up the next bit of, of singles. Pull forward, pinch, pull forward. Note that my fiber supply hand is not moving. That When I was first learning how to spin, I would pull both hands. And so I was constantly getting a thick and thin yarn and I couldn't figure out why it wasn't consistent. And it was because I was moving both hands. So pinch, pull forward, smooth back. Notice how my drafting hand, which is this hand, is never coming off of my fiber supply, off the singles. It's just pulling forward, pulling forward, pulling forward. So 
So that is the short forward draft spun worsted where I'm smoothing the fibers back and keeping them aligned and parallel and creating quite a dense single. Um, this is the sort of the generally the draft that most people start with when they're first learning how to spin and you want to be careful to keep it consistent that you're pulling forward at the same distance and that your fiber supply hand anchors that fiber and doesn't allow it all to go in but also doesn't move. So that's it for today. Have a wonderful August. I'll see you guys next month. Bye.